first of all, I'm so excited to be moving on to the second Final Fantasy because I've never played this one, ever. I, I know nothing about it. I know zero about it. I'm going to assume that it's very similar to one, but time will tell. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start now. Oh, okay. Oh, so these these ones have what's the name like canon names? Um, I don't know if you could change your your character class. It's not looking like you can. You just can change the names. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave all the for every Final Fantasy game I play. Like if you don't know, I'm playing I'm playing all the Final Fantasies in chronological order. And but for every Final Fantasy, I want to keep the canon names for the most part. I don't think I'm gonna change anybody's name. So we're just gonna keep it here. So we have Furion. Maria, Guy, and Leon. I don't know what the classes are. I don't I don't know if you can change your classes. I start the game with these names? Yeah. A long lived peace. Oh cute. It's already so cute. Immediately. Is at an end. <laughs> it's so dramatic. <laughs> I say it's definitely already like all those. Wow, those are like real bombs. You know, like as we know them in Final Fantasy. The Emperor of Palamecia has called forth monsters from the underworld and has begun his campaign for world conquest. Okay, so it's like a completely different plot. Sort of. I mean, Garland kind of did the same thing. A rebel army arose in the kingdom of Finn to ward the Emperor's something. So fast. But the rebel's castle fell to an all-out assault by the Empire. The way his pixels are on his face looks like he's crying. Left with little choice, the rebels withdrew to the remote town of something... Like, I appreciate them getting to the point, but I'm trying to get the lore. Four youths from Finn also found themselves fleeing the Imperial forces. They had lost their parents at the hands of the Empire, but their escape wasn't over. We got four orphans. Oh, how did this throw you right in? Okay, that's cute. Let's see what each person can do individually. Does she have a bow? Okay, we can't do anything so far. That's cool. Miss. Alright. I see where this is going. Will he live? Hilda. Minwoo? He will. I sense a strong, I sense a strong life force within him. He should regain consciousness soon. We found them like this on the escape from Finn, fallen from terrible wounds. By the time we brought them here, I feared it was already too late. His life is not in danger. This sigil will strengthen his life force. We should let him rest now. Of course. We'd best be off to the meeting. I imagine they're already waiting for us. If the Empire is allowed to complete the Dreadnought they're building in Fafsk, their attack will begin in earnest. We cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. It's so fast-paced. Where am I? Leon! Maria! Guy! Guy's the worst name. Where are you? Firion, you're alive! I, I, I thought- I thought you'd- I'm fine, Maria. You seem alright too, Guy, but wait, where's Leon? Pr Princess of Finn, save save us. Princess of Finn, save us. That's supposed to be saved us? But Leon, not here. Oh, does he have like a, it's like an accent kind of thing. I see. Don't worry, I'm sure he's okay. I think I remember in like the fourth Final Fantasy... Like, one of our original party members ends up, like, betraying us. I'm getting that vibe right now. So, you regained your strength? Very good. Your life force is strong indeed. I can't remember, though. It was you who saved us, wasn't it? Thank you. 
Forgive me, your highness, but there's something I must ask of you. Please let us to let us to join the rebel army. How about where is Leon? Nobody want to know where he's at. I could never allow such a thing. You know nothing of battle. You would only be throwing your lives away. You should return to your homes. I know we literally just proved that <laughs> we we all got KO'd. But we have no homes, not anymore. The Imperials attacked, and our parents, our parents. I am truly sorry, but that changes nothing. I cannot permit you to join our army. If you know where else to go, you're welcome to stay here in Altair. Oh, Altair. If you know our password, you should be able to live here well enough. The password is Wild Rose. Remember it well. I mean, oh, you can learn. That's cute. Let's learn that. But we gotta learn it. Did we learn it? Okay, ask. The Wild Rose is- that's cool. The Wild Rose is the insignia of the Kingdom of Finn. It, re it represents our hope for a flourishing future of strength and beauty. But what will become of Finn now? I've heard that the Emperor's captives suffer there in confinement even as we speak. Maria, your brother Leon is missing, is he not? Oh, that's our brother. Oh, and he's missing. It's, it's possible that he's being held in Finn as well. But Finn is far too dangerous to travel to now. The Emperor's beasts still stalk the streets. Gaining entrance to the city will not be easy. The man on my right is Minwu, the white wizard who tended your wounds. Speak with him before you leave. He may be of some assistance. Wait, so she's not going to help us, but we're going to go do it ourselves? There are no key items to learn. Okay, so we already talked about that. Very interesting! Oh, okay, this is like a tutorial? I think the controls are the same as uh, the, the game I just played. Okay, wait a second. So, so far... I have to say, this is a lot different from the first one, especially pacing and plot. The only similarities I see is like Garland kind of like summoned the four fiends or whatever. This one guy who's in charge, he summoned a bunch of stuff from the underworld, something like that, to take over. That's the only thing. The, also, there's no prophecy so far, but maybe it'll come up later. There's something else that crossed my mind, but I can't remember what it was, unfortunately. Just like, wow, so fast. Uh, let me see. Um, okay. This is us. Looking good. Oh, we already have we already have weapons. Okay, so okay, so that's interesting how the dialogue works. I see your destiny clearly. The future it holds seems closely entwined with my own. I'm like burning my eyes today. Okay, uh what can we learn from you? Oh, you will begin by journeying to Finn. That is the first step toward realizing your fate. I'm kind of, I'm kind of confused about what exactly how. I, I don't think I digested the, the words enough to know why we're going. I know why we're going to Finn, but I don't remember why they're sending them there. I don't know if they're sending us there to test us, because I can't remember what she said. <laughs> You've wasted no time using the password. Heed well the information it will bring you. You can learn much of value by listening. Thank you for telling me that. I offer you one more bit of advice before you depart for Finn. Those who have fallen in battle can be revived at a sanctuary, okay? Same, same, like a church. Should one of you fall before you reach Finn, go without hesitation to the nearest sanctuary. Okay. Is that it? So we, okay, that's really interesting how they're doing the dialogue. Alright, this is how you run. I, oh yeah, this is what I wanted to say, I, I just remembered. Also, the, the biggest difference so far is that we all have autonomy. So, like, we ha there's, like, main characters. Everybody has kind of, like, an emotion. Which means there could be character development, backstory, you know. I really like that because, you know, all the other Final Fantasies, that's, like, this, to me, that's, like, one of the biggest selling points. Like, the characters are actually interesting. You care about them. You want to know about them. So, this is, like, the first... So this is, like, Final Fantasy 2. We got, we got names. We got personalities. All right, this is Sage Man. Heading to Finn, are you? Are you? Huh? Um, it's not my place to tell you what to do, but I'd reconsider if I were you. It's a dangerous place to be, you see. The city is crawling with the Empire's monsters. To the north lies a small village called Gatria. Okay, let me remember this, because I remember in Final Fantasy 1, they were telling me all kinds of places to go. It was very easy to get, like, stuck in that game. Gatria, to the north. Judging by the look of you, you'd be lucky to make it that far. Before you go anywhere, I suggest you visit the room with the sigil that saved your life. There you'll find people who can teach you a thing or two about adventuring. I think you're gonna need all the advice they can spare. 
I'm gonna take you up on that. Because sometimes I'm like, ignore a tutorial, but I actually, I'm probably like the number one person that needs them. The port of Paloon lies not far east from here. Okay, we got Gatria to the north, Paloon to the east. But a lake separates us, so you can't be able to reach the town without a canoe. Alright, we're learning fast, immediately. This is the Rebel Army's war room. Cool. This is the Rebel Army's war room. Go. Also, I love that the art is already, like, to me, the art is, like, slightly upgraded from number one. More detailed and stuff like that. Alright. God, oh my gosh, they really... <gasps> Nothing happens. Scared me for a second. There's a ton of sages in here! Would you like me to explain the formation command to you? Use the formation command to assign characters to either the front or rear. Okay, that's how I learned. Lesson on key terms. In the course of a conversation with someone, this is unique to this game. Obviously, there's like key items and stuff like this, and key terms in other games. But this is the first time you can like use them in dialogue I've seen. In the course of a conversation with someone, a particularly important word may come up. When this happens, three commands will appear. Ask, learn, and key items. Select learn to commit the key term to memory. You can then use ask to ask people about any key terms you've, you've learned. Why do we have to actually even establish learn? Like, why do you have to actually learn something and not, not, it's not just automatic unless you'll like end up, like you can only maybe learn a few things and you have to like d delete some from your memory or something. Keep in mind that only certain words can be learned in this way. To show someone an item from your inventory, select key items. When you learn new words or find rare items, you should ask people about the words or show them what you found. You know I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to everybody, I'm gonna show them everything. Would you like to hear about monsters? No, I wanna die fighting blindly. Shall I tell you about chess? No, I don't care about that either. You wanna know more about the nope? I mean what, you got me curious about the chess. Something I should know. Okay, there's just like there's monsters in chess. I thought it'd be like, oh sometimes there's an invisible chest. Shall I teach you a thing about weapons? No. Wait, yes. There's seven weapon categories. Swords, spears, axes, staves, knives, bows, and unarmed. Yeah, the bows are new. Swords, spears, axes, staves, and knives are one-handed weapons can be equipped along with a shield. It is also possible to equip two one-handed weapons, one in each hand. I like that. Equipping a bow requires two free hands, but allows the character to attack with the same damaging force from the rear row of the party formation. Fighting unarmed is another splendid choice and can be as powerful as any weapon. Unfortunately, equipping a shield cuts an unarmed combatant's attack power in half. Ah, so if you plan to fight unarmed, it's probably wise to just skip shields altogether. That was good advice. I would, I would, I would agree with you, sir. Would you care to hear about the information played on the status menu? No. Would you say a little lesson on skill levels? Oh, I think this is important. Skill levels can be divided into two broad categories, weapon skill levels and magic skill levels. Wait, there's more. Weapon skill levels are divided by weapon type, such as swords and axes. Similarly, magic skill levels are divided by spell. Spells like Cure and Fire each have their own skill level. Attacking with, in, with a given type of weapon improves the corresponding weapon skill. As your skill level rises, your attack and currency, currency, your attack and accuracy with those type of weapons will likewise improve. Casting a given spell improves the corresponding magic skill. I'm not even reading. I don't even know why I'm reading this. I'm not comprehending anything I'm reading. Spells become more powerful and effective as their skill level rises. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, though. No. I mean, yeah, right? No, no, no. No. I feel like... I said no, I thought. Sometimes it's fun to learn on your own, but sometimes you miss valuable information. Roll the dice. So, it's cool. We have a map to everywhere already. I like this place. This is the king's bedchamber. Oh, his majesty was grievously wounded in the fight from Finn. He's been resting here for some time now. It's always somebody who's sick. Hi, men. An arrow struck me in the back during the battle. That's pretty serious. Leaving me in this state. Perhaps I really have grown old. Or perhaps you have an arrow in the back. My daughter, Hilda. Oh, that's your daughter. Now serves as regent. You should speak with her. I did. As your daughter? See, some because some RPG games you can interact with these things, so you know, like I'm gonna do that every time. You never know. Honestly, this feels like more traditional RPG games that I'm used to playing. Like I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's the sound of the doors opening and closing. Just like the layout, just makes sense to me. Whose room is this? 
See, um, I just want to click on everything. Make myself at home. I like it. I like this place. We should, oh yeah, we gotta go save Leon. Forgot. You're in the rebel hideout in the town of Altair. Oh, this is a rebel hideout. It's not even a castle or a kingdom or anything. I guess that's why it kind of looks like more my style. More like a slightly, you know, tavern-esque. A little grungy. Not quite castle. Castle. Okay, we got our potion. Hello. Gordon, the prince of Cashuan, is hiding out here in Altair. I don't know what happened, but something has made him lose faith in himself. Gordon, the prince of Cashuan. Where is he? Maybe he can join us. Princess Hilda fled here when Finn was sacked. Okay, so they were they ruled they ruled Finn is what I what I am gathering. They probably already said it and I missed it. And now they're hiding here until they can like take over the kingdom again. She's doing a remarkable job of leading the rebel army while his majesty recovers. I was gonna say, I think like, cause uh, we, I ended Final Fantasy one talking about like reincarnation. There's definitely, I don't know, there's probably a very, a theory out there. I have never looked it up, but like, all the Final Fantasy games could be connected and like, you're just re reincarnating as different people, different characters, and that's why you kind of semi do all the same things and the music's the same and the monsters are the same, some of the names are the same, and I think that's a cool theory that I, I'm sure somebody else had the same thought. You look like a prince. Excuse me? Paul. I'm Paul, greatest thief in all the world. They've yet to invent the loot I can't burgle, burgle or steal. The Imperial coffers have kept my purse fat with gill lately. <laughs> what do you know? I never steal from the rebels. You can be sure of that. My home was in Finn, too. Hey, Paul, join our army! I can't even go home now that the Emperor has occupied the city. That's all we can talk about? He's the greatest thief in the world! We need him. He looks fancy. This is the town of Altair. The Imperial forces haven't been deployed this far out yet. I suppose it's only a matter of time, though. Can I can I use the password on you? Oh, only certain people. Oh, here's the inn. Hold on, before I do anything else, I'm gonna see if I can leave town so I can save it. Because I don't trust my stream. In any capacity, I don't trust this. Okay. We don't need to heal, but, you know, let's look around. much you wow cause zero gil i'll stay just cause pleasant dreams pleasant dreams to you zero that is that is good uh hospitality zero is my favorite number it's not but it is when it comes to something that you can purchase all right what can i do for you do we have or oh, we have 400 gil we could use two more bucklers leather cap clothes leather gloves Let's get three leather gloves. I mean, we have enough to buy everything. We ended Final Fantasy 1 with the max amount of money you could have, which is it's hilarious to me. But, oh wait, does it tell you who has it equipped? Okay. Alright, let's equip. Now, also, I realize you can do item disc view description. I learned that at the literally the absolute end of Final Fantasy 1. Not this time. I'm gonna know what the, uh, the item description is. A cap made of leather. See, I needed to know that. Put that on. We already have the buckler. Leather gloves. Gloves made of leather. I don't like that you can see all the weapons in each category. That's weird. But I guess it's because I could have a shield in either hand. That's right. Oh, that's right, because it's right hand, left hand. Okay, cool game. Very cool. Alright, she's got the bow. Or she could have all these other things. But let, we'll keep her with the bow for now, because I've never experienced this. Get your leather gloves and your leather cap on, so we're all matching. He's got an axe. He could have an axe and a broadsword, this guy. This guy is gonna be the guy. Or I could give him a shield. That's tough. I'll give him a... Does everybody have a shield? Only one person doesn't. I, I want to give him two weapons, because I just think it's cool. I'm going to give him two weapons until it's done. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You got good prices. I still got money. 
That's always good. Oh, we haven't even gone to the weapon shop. Hey! Tobol! What could you want with me? I'm just an old man. Ah, uh, the geezer act is just a cover. My name's Tobol. Oh my gosh! I totally forgot! I beat Final Fantasy 1, and I forgot to turn the adamantine to the dwarf. I gotta do that. I got the geezer act is just a cover. My name's Tobol, and I'm the best darn blacksmith in the rebel army. You make me something! Okay. A knife and a staff. Wow, we're running out of money. That's it. Let's see, what can we sell? What do we not need? We basically never need everything we have so far. I forgot to equip the knife. See, I can have a knife. The combinations, that's going to mess me up. Because I'm going to want to have it all. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. That's, a, you know, trial and error. Excuse me, I'm trying to talk to you. Tobul, the fellow over in that weapon shop, was one of was one fine blacksmith. I think something's been bothering him lately, though. He didn't tell me. He didn't confide in me, a stranger. He doesn't have much to say yet, but I hope that when he's ready, he'll ask for my assistance, so he can learn how reliable I am and trustworthy. Oh, we got. Um, wow, what? I totally forgot. I'm totally broke now. What can I do for you? Apparently nothing. I'm gonna have to go outside and do some damage. Thank you. I don't know why- At least it's only one building for the magic now. Because it, it's just more convenient having black and white magic just together, as it should be. Paul's a skilled thief, but don't worry. You can trust him. He only steals from the Imperials. He's a Robin Hood of sorts. This would be the Sanctuary. Oh, is, is it free in this game? No priests to pay? Corrupt priest? Ridiculous. Hello. Are you? Who are you? Gordon. My name is Gordon. I was once- Oh, this is the guy hiding here. I was once a prince of Kashuan. 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 Kashuan? 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 Now I'm nothing but a coward. When my brother Scott fell in battle, I abandoned my kingdom and fled here. So, you've asked to take up arms in the struggle? Oh, yeah, I've asked to join the resistance. I'm so afraid Hilda will turn me away that I haven't even asked her. I've been stalling here. I'm just a spineless coward. Go ahead. Laugh. I deserve it. Jeez, I'm not gonna laugh at you, dude. <laughs> we all have our struggles. What can I do for you? Why are there three of them? Cross, mallet, removes amnesia, removes curses, cures the toad status. You got... It sounds like we're gonna have a lot of problems in this game. Look at... Look, so... 50,000 gil for an elixir? You got out of your mind. You're out of your, you're out of your mind. Wait, who- ha does anybody sell Phoenix Downs? Oh, excuse me. Oh, pressing every button wrong. So expensive. The- that's- I mean, I, I mean, at least the inn is free. But that's just- oh, I didn't mean to leave. Was I done? Looking at the whole town? Oh! Oh, you can change your party too! I could be a girl. Was the dialogue change? I might play as her because uh, I like being a woman. Also, her hair is purple. And that's really cool. Now, let's just making sure. I want to go up to that little grassy knoll. This RPG game. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm so excited. Um, we're going to go to Finn now. We might die, but we're going there. And. We're gonna get some money. Actually, we're gonna uh, level up around town, like literally around the town, because I'm getting some spells. I don't know who can learn them, but somebody's gonna learn these spells. What a goblin. All right, I'm so excited to see these monsters. Let's see how we fare. Okay, not good. She got no arrows on that thing. Very low HP, that's really great. Accuracy is looking like trash, guys. Get it together. See that? With the dual weapons? That is gonna be nice. I'm gonna really like that. Oh, so this is the skill level thing. Oh, so... Okay. So we gotta... We gotta be well balanced, I feel. That's what people were talking about. Somebody told me, like... You, um... You have to take time, like, leveling up the different skill levels for each person. Leg Eater. Interesting. 
Just spe specifically the legs, or we gonna we gonna really need to work on her accuracy. I don't think I've seen her hit anybody one time. Okay, so let me see this. Right hand, left hand. We're working on the different skills. Okay, so like knife leveled up. So now, okay, so, okay, so, so okay, so like, so like, Maria's Maria can use the bow or the punch. Is that what I'm looking at? I wonder what level you want them at. Just max. I haven't even been seeing how much money I've made. Hornet. There's a lot. At least we have a variety of fiends out here. That's cool. All right, she got one. Very low, but she's doing it. Oh, we don't have any antidote. But that's great because. Oh, this is. I actually like this game a lot so far. I. This is great because the inn is a zero. It's a zero dollar inn. It's the best. This is not the inn. I got a little more excited. What? <laughs> She's inflating me. She heard that. I, she heard that I had a little coin. And she was like, "One is enough." Now she's charging me two gil. <laughs> okay, 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 lady. Don't let it go up again. I'm trying to bring money into your town. Like, if you let me stay there for free, that gives me a better chance to make money. And then, you know, your the economy approves and all this other stuff. I need, like, I want to make, like, at least... I don't know how realistic it is. Like, a thousand? Like, a thousand gil? So that I can buy every spell? So, like, I wonder how long that would actually take. Fortunately, everything is so weak, it's, it's nice. I'm already girl, almost to the skill level 3. So if I take her bow, will she just start punching stuff? Because I might be- I actually might like that better for her. I like a, uh, like a Riku type. I love a fisticuffs type. A thief, but a puncher. Like a monk. You know, that's all they are. That's what the category is usually like. The monk, like Amarant from Nine. I love hands-on combat in real life and in games. Not me actually doing it, like watching it be done. But yeah, okay, wait. Let me see if I can. What happens if I remove her bow? Now she has nothing. I just want to see what happens. I want her to be a fighter. Don't rely on weapons. I will explore. See what else is over here. This this map is pretty cool. You see the the map on. It's pretty. It's pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice size. There's one item we didn't get in Altair. I wonder what it is. Oh yeah, you see her punch is way better than her bow. Are you kidding me? She was born to fight. She's from the streets. She she had to survive on her own without her parents. These people, they're ready. They're built and bred for this kind of situation. She's about to be my favorite character. I don't even remember her name. What's her name? Maria. 408? That's not bad. Oh my gosh! Okay, so we got- that was kind of cool. We got airships just flying around here. So it's not- it's not as impressive as we get one. It's just like a normal thing to have. That'll keep us humble. See, the auto battle makes leveling up and like grinding. I think it's relaxing, nice, steady. Look at Maria. Maria is stacked, dude. She doesn't need nothing. Oh, look at this cute little... Oh my gosh. Oh, this is Katria. I don't want to go here yet. It's literally... This is the village to the north that he was talking, telling me about. He was not kidding. It is a small little village. So I must be like... Where, what city are we in? The rebel place Altair? That's like a town. That's like a city for real. This is so cute. My gosh. Okay, and there's another town up there too. That's Gatria? I wonder what that place is. And there's another place to the east that the guy was talking about. We gotta head back. I forgot we have no items. That's another thing. I'm gonna need money to buy items too. Now, do you stay poisoned? Because she's not bleeping. Bleeping. You know how they blink. Okay, so this is cool because you don't keep your status effects. Oh, that's perfect. We can get poisoned all day and night. Imagine getting hit with a sword and an axe. That's <laughs> like... Like, back-to-back. Back. 
I think if I had to be in this situation, like I said, like, I'd have to be the hands-on combat type or close range, like with daggers or something like that, because I have, my eyesight's tremendously terrible, and, um, I don't feel like aiming would be something I, I would be good at. I might get lucky, but I don't want to have to re rely on something like that. Because I think, I think I'm pretty agile. Right, let me go to the inn real quick, because Maria's starting to, oh goodness, she's starting to kneel. And I need her to be on our feet. Let's see if this lady raise the price again. She's gonna lose a customer. She's she is she's a loving gill. I can't believe this. Who does she think she is? What's her motivation? What's what is what if, what is it that I'm doing that's making her want to raise the price on me? Cause it's not like I have that much more money than before. It's because of my level. Six hundred fifty five gill. Whatever. We're almost there to my goal, my monetary goal. It's happening faster than I, I expected. Since we already know where our next destination is. I'm excited to visit Gatria. We almost have a thousand gil. I mean, I wonder what will happen first. We probably will get some money before we reach skill level 5. I'm also excited to learn like more about them. Like I love that they can talk. They can communicate. You know, and like Maria, I also have a brother, you know, who I would try to save. And my name is Marissa, and that's almost like Maria. I wonder if they were friends before their parents, like, died. It's, pro it's possible, because, like, they're all orphans, or, like, maybe, like, their parents died, and then they went to an orphanage, and they met there. Okay, I'm gonna do like four more battles and then see where we are financially. Or not. I mean, health is okay, but I don't want to risk it too much. Maria has pretty low health. I like her, her hair blows in the wind when she walks. 1198. Alright, let's go do some damage. Tell them we came here to shop. Now, let me heal. Ooh. Keep raising the price. 22 gil. I mean, every every time is kind of sick, it's sickening, the bad kind of sick. Now, what did I say I wanted to buy? I want to get magic first, above everything else. Let's get some of that. That's so expensive, still. Like, yeah. okay, but can anybody even learn this? Can can everybody? Who can learn this? Let's get cure. Ah, uh, I will. Uh. I like two people to know cure, but y'all better be able to learn this. Now, cannot use magic. Okay, good to know. Cannot use magic. Cannot use magic. That's great. That's great. I was hustling for what? I guess I could have looked that before. I could have looked at that like that section, but I never even thought to. Let's get some items. I can't believe this. What a waste. I mean, we leveled up. Nothing's a waste. I feel like since they don't last outside of battle, this is not a priority for me right now. Everything else is going to be through the roof expensive or unnecessary. I already, I think I bought all the latest weapons. Dang, what the heck? Grinding for magic money. Can't even use the magic. But was there any weapons that I needed to get that I couldn't before? Ah, oh, I can get some higher equipped ones. Well, obviously we're gonna buy you the best one. Don't you already have a broadsword? I have two. Yeah. Okay, we just let's leave. Let's just leave. Right, to Gatria. Well, that was an experience. See, I feel like everybody is already coming into their own as like making the identity. Like we got Ferion, obvious warrior, straightforward, traditional. I like I like a traditional type sometimes every now and then. We got Maria. She's like. The cool one, do you know? <laughs> She's like the cool one. That's it. Guy is our muscle man. He can swing two weapons at once. You you gotta have one of those as well. Okay, and we just need a magician. That's it. We'll be set. Gatria. Home of the gats. See you. Okay, good. I like like they don't have just like. Advanced weapons already, same, like more of this, it's the same weapons basically, because I just think that's more realistic. 
They're right next to each other. This is the village of Gatria. Finn is just over there across the lake. See? Okay, that big town across the lake is Finn. Got you. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Uh, how much you charge? I don't need to heal, though. Zero? No. I won't, I won't waste... I don't know... Let's see, if I come back in, is it gonna raise it? How does it work? Is it the first time and then it just goes up? I'm not gonna use my first time. Until I'm hurting. It better not, like, go up. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. I mean, these towns are right next to each other. I still don't feel the need. I'm gonna save my money. Like, I I'm just gonna see if they have the exact same stuff. No, I don't feel the need to, um, to carry some own good. Buy any of this stuff. Yeah, I wanna save my money for I don't know what, but something. Something good. The Imperial forces have occupied Castle Finn. The gates are drawn and no one can enter. And with Imperial troops and monsters roaming the streets, the city isn't any better off. Don't you worry. Your heroes are here. You don't even know it. Gatria and Altair haven't fallen into the clutches of the Empire yet. But once the Dreadnought is complete, nothing will be able to stop the Empire. What's that? You have leather armor? Should I have no leather armor? I have three in stock. Oh, but they said that if you equipped armor on a puncher, it makes their attack not as good. So we're gonna we're gonna keep her as is. She can handle it. She can wear a little hat, whatever she needs to do. There's a pub just on the outskirts of Finn. When the Empire invaded, the barkeep didn't make it out in time. Oh, they say he's still working there, pouring tricks to the Imperials. Okay, we got an inside man, potentially. Oh, is this a little cathedral? Very cozy. Okay, Gatria is adorable. Gonna leave now. Thank you. Okay, I gotta take the long way out. Well, we're just gonna walk straight to Finn. We're just gonna walk in and be like, Where's my brother? I can't believe not a one magic user. Zero. See, what does, she need, what does she need a shield for? She has armor skin. Maria hands leveled up. I defeated a hundred monsters. I got an achievement. Apprentice warrior. Okay, we're gonna walk in. We're gonna fight. We're gonna get more information. We're gonna save Leon. I forget that he's like... We don't even need him. No offense to him. Like, Unless he's a magician, we don't need him. Because uh, we, we're doing pretty good on our own here. I mean, I'm kind of getting attached to the three. But maybe he fits in. Maybe he's been brainwashed. It's just as we've heard. The city is crawling with Imperial soldiers. We have to be careful. Make sure not to get too close. Oh my gosh. Will we die? Rebel curse! Yes. Let's see how they push on there. That's not looking good. Oh, he was serious. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, can we escape? Get out of there! Oh, I- oops. That was my bad. Okay, I just was curious. I don't think I ever had a game over in Final Fantasy 1. Oh, yes, I did. I, I did at least one time. Because I remember restarting from my quick save. Okay, so when you say not to get too close, can they? Can we just walk past them? Ooh, that's different. They're, oh, so they're, okay, and there are monsters here. They said they warned me. I didn't believe them. There was—they were really like, no, we mean it. We're not just being cute. It's not a metaphor. There's really monsters here. That's unique. Like not being able to get too close to the guards because they will annihilate us. I like that. You guys open for business, though? Oh, okay, so, okay, that's cool, too. Nobody's here, because, you know, the town's taken over, and people are, like, probably in jail and whatever. They're not bending the knee. Oh, he's blocking the inn. How, how, how close can we get? Like, can we walk past them? What are we doing here? Oh, yeah, we're saving the brother. They said that the- oh, we gotta get to the- probably the barkeep, because he- he kind of just got stuck there, so he's- he's on our side. But naturally, I'm gonna go into every building, so I just- just FYI. Be cool if we can get some items off of some of these kills, too. That's always good. When you can find, um, items on the monsters and stuff. 
Why is the barkeep? Oh, is this a tavern? What is this? What kind of, what kind of place is this? This can't be an inn. There's only one bed. Probably somebody important's house. If I had to guess. Man, th these encounters, the count encounter rate is like double. Where's the bar? Is it that little potion place? Oh, he's blocking it. Probably not. I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, I probably have to go straight to the castle because that's how like Cornelia was in the first one. And also, that's probably where the dungeon's at. If I know anything about castles. I wonder if I should go back to Gatria real quick. I'm tempted, but it's not that close. But it's not that far either. Eh. I have some potions. I have like eight potions, I think. Okay, let's sneak in. Okay, let's not. Is it. How are we supposed to get in here? What was the plan? What was the plan, guys? Is there another side of this town that we can investigate? This looks like the same town. What's your plan? The guy said there's a barkeep that works here, but where's he hiding? Maybe he's like hiding in this house? And he can sneak us into the castle because we have a dilemma. Where are you, dude? In one of these barrels? Like, I'm just expecting him to pop up and be like, oh, you found me. Okay, what? What? It's not as this. That's this. Up above is the sanctuary. Where's the inn? Oh, there's a. Oh, there it is. It's on the outside of town. Okay, okay. Oh, cool. I almost missed that. Hopefully, he has a bed in there. We can rest. We're gonna need a little R&R. &R. Okay, I like this. Hey, team. Good job. Oh, there's a ton of. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Where is he? There's a ton in here. Yo, my man! You man, give me a warning for his Whoa! Where do you think you're going? Customers aren't allowed behind the counter. These Imperials are as ill bred as they come. Are they drunk? Because they're not gonna listen to this conversation very coherently. Aha! You're with the rebels. Rebels, excuse me. You'll find a secret door in this wall. There's a wounded soldier back there. Go see if you can help him. Oh, I don't think my brother's a soldier. So it's not gonna be him, huh? What am I gonna do? I've had it with this place. You guys can take it from here. Don't let us down. Excuse me? He's just gonna leave. Where's the secret wall? Oh, ah, that's so cute. Oh, and you got treasure? Potion, very nice. Potion, mm -hmm. Potion. Excuse me. Are you gonna turn me over to the Empire? At least have the decency to kill me first. I don't want them to take me alive. So, you're rebel soldiers, are you? Something like that. My name is Scott. I'm a prince of Cash Cashon. <gasps> oh my gosh! Gordon? He thinks his brother is dead, right? He's not dead. Cashon. 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 Prince Scott? We were told you fell in, ba in the battle. Thank goodness you're still alive. I am, but not not for much longer. Oh, he was the one I was like, hey, it looks like he's crying because of the way his pixel on his face, that blue thing right there. I'm afraid I must ask a favor of you. There's something you must must tell my brother, Gordon. Tell him I know he has great strength. He must learn to have more faith in, in himself. I also have a message for the king. Tell him the reason Finn, Finn fell so quickly is that Cal Count Borgen betrayed us. He's been made a, a general in the Imperial Army. There's one more thing. <laughs> Tell Hilda. Tell Hilda that I love her. I don't remember the first two things you said, dude. There's a, there's a traitor. No. No, don't deliver that. Last message. The confessions of a dying man. They would only bring her pain. No! Tell her, dude! Tell her. My... My brother Leon, have you heard of him? I'm sorry, but I have not. I wish I could be of more help. I really hope that Leon is like a traitor. I just, I don't know. I just feel like it would be cool for him to be that. Here, I want you to, to 
to take my ring. You're standing, you're walking, you're giving speeches, you're giving monologues. You can make it. I'm sure it will be of use. Thanks. Maybe it's all this talking, but I've grown extremely tired. If you'll excuse me, I, I just need to rest. Just for a little while. Dang! Oh my god. That's actually so sad. <laughs> you obtained Scott's ring. He just died like that, like a fiend. Rest in peace, Scott. Let me, look at, let me look at that ring you got us. In your honor. A memento from Scott. Apparently someone in Gatria knows how to use it. Oh, it's a magic type ring. Dang, Scott. He was just in here dying by himself and we didn't know any magic to help him or anything. And we didn't actually even get to heal ourselves while we were down here. But what can you do? Oh my gosh, he just really just left us here! Now <laughs> we have to get out of here! This is not good! Sheesh. Okay, we need to go to Gadria. Let's get out of here. Because they got an inn with a free... We got a free night. Free night stay there. And we got that ring. We got that ring we're going to show to everybody and who will let us show them. It's good. It's good. It's good. Let's see, this is good pacing so far. Things are making sense. I know which direction to go in. It's always good. I feel wiser. I learned a lot from Final Fantasy 1. 